Dan Oski from our YouTube community uh, posed this question. Maybe I don't understand the second part of this question. Maybe you can like uh, elaborate or maybe you don't understand it. But he said, hot pressed or cold pressed boards? So most skateboards made in, in, in North America are cold pressed. Okay. So that's where you take the wood, you put glue on it with a machine, you put it in a press, you let it sit in a press for an hour, it absorbs the shape of things, and then you cure it for whatever your curing cycle is. For me, it's a week. Um, hot pressed is you put the skateboard in a mold, the press comes down, it's hot, and in five minutes you pull it out. It's like a flaming on steak out of the microwave in Ooh. three minutes. It's no, no, fabulous. not out of the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> you treat, you, do you treat your maple that way? No. <laughs> Does one last you longer? You think Cordano could handle that? But the maple already got used just getting made into a skateboard. So this might actually answer the question to the second part of his question. Was like, So he said, I've been to so many factories in China, but their boards don't scoop. Is that the glue? Are, do, is I, China, right. Does China do hot press boards? China's is that what you're hot saying? Hot press for the most part. That's it. Yeah. Hot press. And what do you? And it, that it, that, that messes it's up price the, and efficiency. And that messes so up the nanotubes. Right. So right? to be clear, if we go back to the 70s, okay. hot pressing was used and cold pressing was used. In the 80s, Powell and Santa Cruz hot pressed. Everything else was cold pressed. Mo most everything was cold pressed. So Vision was Taylor and Dykeman okay. was Watson was, Madrid was. Ooh. So there was this divide now. What happened is that as, as we got out of the 80s, NHS moved away from hot pressing, and Powell eventually moved away from hot pressing as well Okay, within a year or two of that. And then everything was cold pressed. Well, the late, eight, late 90s come along, and China starts to play a role. They're like, well, they hot press. We're going to be efficient. We're gonna, we're we're gonna make, efficient. We're going to make we don't triple, care. quadruple the boards you we guys We don't make. care about the quality. We care about this, right? Yeah. So, so hot, hot pressing got run out of skateboarding, okay. and then the consumer got duped and said, oh, well, what do you mean? I mean, I had a factory in China for years, and, and when I started the factory, I started to laser engrave the boards in the United States. People loved them. And then when I made them in China, and they said made in China, they're like, no, take the China off. And I'm like, well, U.S. Customs says we need to have this... Well, nobody else is doing it. Take it off. Okay. You know, so brands wanted the right, you know, but the brands are trying to survive. Realize that because the price of a board hasn't gone up, right? And then the price of direct screen printing, heat transfer, reduced the cost to decorate it, which just gave the margin to still operate and survive as a brand. So you're telling me that no brands in North America do hot pressed. Not that I'm aware. No, of. Not, not no brand. Not excuse me. I, not brands. No, right. no factories. I believe Powell hot press is this because you can't really you can't process epoxy. We're talking about Andy Anderson's board, right. and that's a whole different. Yeah, beast but it's, that it's we're flight construction. About, right? it's, 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 but it's flight construction is what George wants to build. He doesn't want to build regular boards. Right. He wants to build these. I was going to ask, what's the difference of like this? The hot or cold press lasts longer, or is there like? Can you tell right away how different it is? Yeah, because basically the, the, the hot press stuff has a very brittle crystalline glue. Mm -hmm. And when you tap it, it sounds great. Just every time you tap it, you break your tubes. So I talk about Cordano breaking his tubes, right? Well, with a, with a hot press board, you're breaking the tubes. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and a couple of days later, I guess the board's no good anymore. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like... Because it's already been exposed to well, what, the, what wood doesn't like is right. heat. It's exposed to what wood doesn't like, but also the glue that works with that ah, process right. is crystalline in nature, where the polyvinyl is flexible in nature. Oh, so we're talking about multiple factors. Right, multiple factors, exactly. Because okay. the glue that's cheap glue uh -huh. versus expensive glue, right? Right, right? What does the cold press board sound feel like? That proper sound. Okay. I, I've just never really compared. I guess I never really thought about it, to be honest, personally. Right. I just kind of like try a board, and, and I it, does it, if it works, I, I go with it. But if it Dang. doesn't, I'm on to the next thing. I'm not right. like, oh, this well, is a lot of A lot of people press. have that. I got to stand, throw it on the ground and stand out. A lot of people got to tap it on the mm -hmm, ground. It's mm -hmm. got to sound right to me. And if you say, what's that sound? How do you define it? I just, I got this, sen I sense it, right? Like skaters mm -hmm. sense things. It's crazy because you, with skateboarding, you're literally a mathematician. To get it right, to get onto that obstacle, that rail, that whatever, with your body position and your board, the, the amount of math, if you were a robot and you had to put that in code, it's code from here to Huntington Beach. In hindsight, to do, I wish- To even do that manual right there, right? <laughs> in hindsight, I, I wish I would have been more, you know, paying attention Me too, to- too, bro. Because it, it might have 
elevated my skating a little bit. I know. You know what I mean? I know. It's too late now, dubs. <laughs> it's, it's never too late. <laughs> no, it's not too late. <laughs> never too late. <laughs> but, you know. I, it's I, keep I, too late for dude. me. It's keep too late for me. Dubs. I'm, I'm <laughs> done. I'm, I'm 60. For me, it's too late to elevate. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can accept that. I'm just happy to push, carve, and grind. And if I can flow and go, because really the best part of skateboarding is like you got some vibration through your feet, some mm-hmm. air on your face. Cruising. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you beautiful. decided what you're riding, where you're at who you're with and what you're going to do with it. So true. So you said that a cold pressed board takes a week to cure? Yeah. In the machine? No, no, no. Oh, so you press it. Only how in long the machine did... for an hour. Oh, only an hour. How many PSI is it, is, is it pressing? Around 150. 150 PSI and how many boards are you doing in that? Depends on the mold. Could be three, four, five. So you're doing three? Fours or are average. So if you do four boards, an average of 100, we say 150 PSI? Yeah. And it takes an hour in the mold. How many molds are you working with then? How right, many? Right are you now spending? we're running thirty-two. You have thirty-two molds. Yeah, we had double. I got the other part in storage. Hmm. So we had eighty. So we're running thirty-two right now. Where wow. the market's at. So you okay? So you're cranking boards out left and right. And we're when we're talking about the the the, the press and the mold, we're just it's tech, we're, it's just a square, right? Veneers yeah. pressed together. Yep. Um, the world boards in the early nineties, what were, were those yep. cold pressed? Yeah. That's what, cause they were brittle and they would break all the time. I mean, I well, re- well, part, part of the world breaking boards in that era was they had no concave, they mm-hmm. had no structure. So they would break behind the back truck. Yeah. Right. I didn't build skateboards that would break behind the back truck. They would break in front of the back truck or in the middle of the board. Right. Because structurally I knew that wasn't good, but there was an aspect that whatever decisions were made by Steve or Rodney, that this is what we need to progress skateboarding forward. Mm. And they progressed it forward, right? For sure. You know? That's prime, so, that was prime wood, right? Prime. Yeah, prime. prime. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, and I understood prime might have had some hot pressing, but I know they had cold pressing as well. It was majority. Well, they made other wood products before they got into skateboards. Uh, so they made skateboards in the 70s and got out of it and then got back into it.